the fascinating factory process of butter production. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating process of how butter is made in a factory, from sourcing raw milk to the final packaging. Whether you're a curious consumer or someone interested in food production, this journey through the butter making process will provide a new appreciation for this everyday dairy marvel. The foundation of high quality butter begins with sourcing the finest raw materials, milk and cream. Factories typically work closely with local dairy farms to ensure a steady and reliable supply of fresh milk. The quality of this milk is critical as it directly influences the taste, texture, and consistency of the final butter product. Types of milk used. Cow's milk. The most commonly used milk in butter production due to its widespread availability and balanced fat content. Buffalo milk. Preferred in some regions for its higher fat content, which results in richer butter. Specialized sources. Some factories use organic or grass-fed milk to cater to niche markets. Once the milk reaches the factory, the first step in transforming it into butter is separating the cream. This process isolates the fat-rich portion of the milk, which serves as the primary ingredient in butter production. Modern factories employ advanced equipment to carry out this task efficiently and precisely. 1. Receiving and testing the milk. Upon arrival, the milk undergoes quality checks for fat content, freshness, and purity. It is then pumped into large holding tanks for storage until processing begins. 2. Centrifugation process. Centrifugal separators. The milk is processed through centrifugal machines, which spin at high speeds to separate cream from skim milk. How it works. The centrifugal force pushes the denser skim milk outward, while the lighter cream collects in the center. Efficiency. This method ensures that cream separation is quick and uniform, maximizing the amount of cream extracted. 3. Adjusting cream fat content. Standardization. Factories adjust the fat content of the cream depending on the type of butter being produced, for example, regular, cultured, or high-fat butter. Consistency. The standardized cream ensures uniformity in the taste and texture of the final product. 4. Storing the cream. The separated cream is transferred to chilled storage tanks to preserve its freshness and prevent spoilage before pasteurization. At this stage, the cream may be further analyzed to ensure it meets the specific requirements for butter production. 5. Byproduct utilization. The skim milk left after cream separation is not wasted. It is often processed into other dairy products like milk powder, cheese, or yogurt, making the process highly sustainable. Pasteurization is a critical step in the butter making process, ensuring the cream's safety and enhancing the quality of the final product. This process involves heating the cream to specific temperatures to kill harmful bacteria while retaining its nutritional value and natural flavor. 1. Why pasteurize the cream? Safety. Eliminates harmful microorganisms such as bacteria and pathogens, ensuring the cream is safe for consumption. Flavor and quality. Enhances the cream's shelf life by reducing the risk of spoilage without altering its taste. Compliance. Meets food safety standards and regulations required in dairy processing. 2. The pasteurization process. Heating the cream. The cream is heated to temperatures ranging between 85 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Fahrenheit to 194 degrees Fahrenheit, for approximately 15 to 20 seconds. This step effectively kills harmful microorganisms while preserving the cream's essential properties. Rapid cooling. After heating, the cream is quickly cooled to temperatures below 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, to prevent any degradation or flavor alteration. This rapid cooling also helps prepare the cream for the next stages in butter production. 3. Equipment used. Plate heat exchangers, used for efficient and uniform heating and cooling. Continuous pasteurizers. Ensure a steady flow of cream through the heating and cooling phases, optimizing time and energy efficiency. The churning process is the heart of butter production, where cream is transformed into butter. This step involves physically agitating the cream to break down the fat globules, causing them to clump together and separate from the liquid, buttermilk. Factories use highly efficient and automated systems to perform this traditional process on a large scale. 1. What is churning? Churning involves vigorously mixing the cream to disrupt the fat emulsion. 
The agitation causes fat molecules to cluster together, forming butter grains, while the remaining liquid becomes buttermilk. 2. Equipment used in factories. Continuous butter machines. These machines are designed for high volume production, allowing cream to be processed continuously. Churns. Traditional churns are used in smaller scale operations, but are less common in modern factories. 3. Steps in the churning process. Filling the cream. The cream is poured into the churning machine at a controlled temperature, usually around 8 degrees Celsius to 14 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit to 57 degrees Fahrenheit, to achieve the best results. Agitation. The cream is mechanically agitated, causing the fat globules to stick together and form butter grains. Phase separation. The butter grains separate from the buttermilk, which is drained off for use in other products or as a byproduct. 4. Controlling butter texture. Temperature control. Maintaining the right temperature during churning ensures the desired butter consistency. Speed adjustments. The churning speed is adjusted to control the size and texture of the butter grains. 5. Buttermilk removal. Once the butter grains have formed, the liquid buttermilk is drained. The buttermilk is collected and processed separately, often used in beverages or baking. 6. End of the churning process. After the separation, the butter grains are ready for further processing, including washing and salting, to refine their flavor and texture. After churning, the butter grains are washed and salted to refine their texture, enhance their flavor, and improve their shelf life. These steps are crucial for creating a high-quality butter that meets consumer expectations and food safety standards. Washing the butter. The fascinating factory process of butter production removes residual buttermilk from the butter grains to prevent spoilage and off flavors, enhances the purity and texture of the butter. Process. Butter grains are rinsed with cold, purified water. Washing may be repeated multiple times to ensure thorough removal of buttermilk. Equipment used. Butter washing machines. Automated systems designed to gently mix water with the butter grains and drain it. The art of butter making, from salting to packaging. Purpose enhances flavor and acts as a natural preservative, regulates moisture content for better texture and spreadability, types of salting, dry salting, fine salt is evenly distributed over the butter, brine salting, butter is immersed in a saltwater solution for even salting, process, the butter is thoroughly kneaded or mixed after adding salt to ensure uniform distribution, salt content adjustment, Factories tailor the salt content based on market demands. Unsalted butter. Contains no added salt, popular for baking and low-sodium diets. Salted butter. Contains 1-2% salt, depending on regional preferences. Kneading and texturing are essential steps in the butter-making process that refine the butter's consistency, eliminate excess moisture, and create the smooth texture that consumers expect. This stage prepares the butter for packaging and ensures it meets specific quality standards. Consistency achieves a uniform, smooth texture by distributing fat and moisture evenly. Moisture removal eliminates any remaining water to improve shelf life and product stability. Air elimination removes trapped air to enhance density and appearance. Mechanized kneading. Factories use automated kneading machines designed to work the butter without compromising its quality. These machines simulate traditional hand kneading, but on a much larger scale. Process. The butter is repeatedly folded, pressed, and rolled to achieve uniformity. Excess water and air are expelled during this step. Control parameters. Kneading speed and duration are carefully monitored to achieve the desired consistency without overworking the butter. Purpose. Improves the butter's spreadability and mouthfeel. Ensures a consistent appearance, especially for commercial and retail packaging. Steps in texturing. Rolling or extruding the butter to align the fat molecules and achieve a uniform structure. Fine adjustments based on the type of butter, for example, cultured or regular butter. Butter workers. Large-scale machines equipped with rollers and paddles for efficient kneading and texturing. Continuous butter makers. Machines that integrate churning, kneading, and texturing into a seamless process. Soft butter. For spreadable versions, the kneading process may be shorter or involve lower pressures. Firm butter. 
For baking or cooking, additional kneading ensures a denser, firmer texture. The kneading and texturing process ensures that the butter is smooth and spreadable, free from excess water and air, consistent in quality, ready for packaging and distribution. Modern butter factories rely on advanced equipment and precise controls during the stage to produce butter that meets both industrial and consumer standards. Quality control is a vital aspect of the butter making process, ensuring the final product meets stringent safety, consistency, and quality standards. From raw material inspection to packaging, each step undergoes rigorous checks to maintain the highest levels of hygiene, flavor, and texture. Packaging is the final stage in the butter making process, where the finished product is carefully wrapped and prepared for storage, distribution, and sale. This step ensures that the butter remains fresh, hygienic, and visually appealing to consumers. Automated machines. Factories use high-speed wrapping and sealing machines to handle large volumes efficiently. Steps involved. Portioning. Butter is portioned into standardized sizes or customized weights for bulk orders. Molding. Butter is shaped into bricks, rolls, or tubs to meet market preferences. Wrapping. Packaging material is applied and sealed to protect the butter. Labeling. Machines apply labels with brand logos, product information, and regulatory details. The journey of butter from raw milk to the finished product is a fascinating process that combines traditional methods with modern technology. Factories utilize advanced equipment and strict quality controls at every step, from sourcing high-quality milk and separating cream to pasteurization, churning, washing, salting, kneading, and packaging. Each stage is meticulously designed to ensure the butter is not only flavorful and creamy, but also safe and long-lasting.